What up, guys? Diamond with Subsaver Celebrate, and you're my co-host, Chris. Hi. Anyways, hey, welcome back. Let's do a brand that is number one budget, number two uh, available practically everywhere. You can find this at Walmart across the country. Well, that was a good cork pop. I like the sound of that one. <laughs> um, all right, so let's talk about how this is made. First of all, it's made at NAM 1607. Um, they are using, uh, oh, this is interesting. So they're using tequila resource from both the valleys and the um, Los, no, it's the, it is both the valleys. Okay, I misread that at first. Um, they're using stone brick oven. They crush it with a tona, uh, tahona. You can't get any better than that. Um, it, well, okay. So when you use a tahona, you, it's not as effective as a roller mill, um, but you get a better product, I think. Um, you're using the Tahona, they're using deep well water to rinse off the fibers, stainless steel tanks, and open air fermentation part. They're using copper pot stills, and this is 40% alcohol by volume. And let's talk about the price. I mean, you're looking at 20, 30 bucks, 35 to 40, and about under 50 bucks for an Enyanko. Um, but you can find these at practically every Walmart um around the country and i'm not gonna kid you when you want some great tequila drink recipes go to their website their website has some amazing tequila uh recipes hey if you tuned in this far we do us a favor hit that subscribe button don't forget the notification bell so that way every time you'll be notified when we put something new out and we appreciate all you subscribers. Man, you guys have been piling on lately, and we appreciate that. We really, really appreciate you for doing that. Um, I'm having a blast. I mean, I hope you are too. I mean, come on, you get to drink and talk. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Two things we're both good at. <laughs> Ooh. That smells so nice. You don't like it? I just think it's basic. Basic. I'm a god. I'm a basic bitch. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, it's just kind of I get mineral and sweet. water. <laughs> I get sweet agave, but it's on the mineral side, obviously, coming from the um, from the valleys. But it's nice. I, I kind of like it. The sweet imported by Diageo. Okay. Is it really? Uh -huh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hey, well, Diageo is say... a huge sponsor of John Taffer, so who knows? Well, yeah, but they cut corners, so this could possibly have additives in it. Um, it's made correctly, as according to this, but it is not certified additive-free. Well, here we go. Salute. I mean, it's got some mint to it. There's a, a little bit of pepper to it. Um, There's a slight sweetness to it. I'm not sure that's supposed to be there. <laughs> it's not offensive. Right. You can make a great drink with that. No, Diageo is who, uh, who now owns Don Julio, Casamigos. Um, and then there's a list of them that owns that company. That makes more sense why you can find it everywhere. But I do like that they're using the process correctly and with the tahona. That's how we do it. If it does have additives, it's not the most offensive thing I've had. Right. That's the best I can say. And it's cheap, you know, 25 to 30 bucks. That cork pops really nice though. I like that. This one smells more offensive than the Blanco. Uh oh. Well, I haven't had these, so I don't know. <laughs> An age, probably a oak barrel. Yeah. Mm hmm. American white oak barrel. Mm hmm. 
A little bit of alcohol first on this one. Yep. But, I mean, it's all there. Yep. There's additives in that thing. There's the oak. Yep, you can taste the, the fake sugars. Um, it's like not the most offensive one. White out of the barrel, though. I'm gonna say it's not the most offensive one I've had because we've got some really. It's not as bad as Razzle. Razzle was so bad. And if you haven't watched that, make sure you go back and check out the Razzle review. It was a good one. Nah, I'm gonna pass. Well, that sucks. But hey. That's why we're trying it. Just to get to give you our opinion. You still drink what you like. If you like this, go for it, y'all. Always remember to water up. Well, let's go for the next one. It just means it's aged longer or has more additives. And it's a darker color, so. But, I mean, they're using a lot of oak, not so much of the glycerin or the... Um, well, my question is, why would you go through the trouble of making it so good and then cowtailing to people that say they just want sweet, sweet tequilas? It's not supposed to be super sweet. Because they're trying to make a dollar. It's got to be what Ooh. it is. Oh, Ooh. now I'm afraid... <laughs> that is caramel and butterscotch. Yeah. I think this one's... I think this one is more offensive than this one. This one isn't as bad. So the caramels and butterscotches, be it fake or real, my guess is fake, but... This one's palatable, though. This one I thought was a lot of alcohol forward mixed with fake sugars and stuff. It just wasn't... Mm. I didn't mind the repo. I thought it was... Really? I'm on the other side. I, I would take this nice over that. I thought it had a nice oak to it, but... Right. I mean, number one, I would stick with the Blanco. The Blanco wasn't horrible. But this one, this one I'm these struggling two, with. I think I'd take the Anejo over that. This Let's is see. like Grandpa's pocket candy. <laughs> right, but that one tasted... Ugh. I didn't like but it. But you're not a huge repo guy either. Well, I would take Don Flano over that any day. Ooh. Yeah. And if you haven't seen that review, go check out Don Flano. They have amazing stuff and pretty reasonable and easy to get. This is another version of 818, but cheaper. It's fake sweet. It's not super offensive, but it's not right. It's not right. I it's still not left if I had to drink out of the two of these, I would take this over that. Well, that now there you go. At least we didn't spend a lot on these ones. That's a good thing. <laughs> well, so one down. So you're a two for two out of three pass, right? I would pass on these two. I'd take that one. Is okay. And I would make a mixed drink with these two. I, I just don't like that one. I don't like and it. I think I'm going to stay over here as the non-recommend. Uh, well, if you can get one of our other brands that we do recommend, go get those. Um, but if this is all you've got and this is the only choice you can have, I'd steer you towards the Blanco a little bit. It's, it's okay. But this one, I'm no. If 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 this is what you've got, would you use it? In go a to store? a different store. Go to another up, store and pick up some Desnuda. Desnuda. That is the same price point. That thirty dollar range. Mm -hmm. Desnuda is a hundred times better. It's made right. It's got bold, great flavors. Go to a different store. That is my recommendation. And you know, 
we hope you enjoy what you like to drink and share a glass with a friend. That's what it's all about. Right? And if you need some neat glasses, go to the Neat Glass, com uh, glass Company and pick up some of their glasses. They're on um, Amazon or at theneatglass.com. And you can use our promo code at theneatglass.com, which is SSC and EAT. But until then, always remember sip, savor, and celebrate. Salute.